Hello, everybody. Oh, we got to switch the main cam. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to Tech Talks. I'm Victor here with Julie. And uh, we have a bit of a slow week. I imagine that now that winter is here, the uh, Techtober is over, uh, is over and um, the holiday seasons are just about buying the products now. There's not going to be a lot of information of new things coming out or new announcements. Um, so we will start with a few things that I did take note of once I... All right. Uh, enable. We'll deal with that later. Okay. Um, oh, well, just now I got the notification that Google Assistant now works with Google Keep, which is pretty nice to keep your notes and your uh, lists and That's things like that. That's not where we keep our shopping list, is it? It's not where we do right now because it was originally um, part of the Google Express, which is now Google Shopping. But That's where you, they put our shopping list? Yeah. Interesting. But now you can switch it over to Google Keep so that you can uh, more easily keep it with your note files if you use Google Keep. I guess. I do like that the, um, whatever it is, that the assistant has been putting our shopping list into. Mm -hmm. um, that it, it sometimes it seems to auto-select a picture of the item, which is nice to have, like... Just because I like the whole pex, the picture, picture exchange communication, like that whole idea of having both the word and the picture whenever possible. If you can only have one, I'd obviously rather the word. Mm -hmm. But if you can have both, it's nice. So that's the thing now. If you want to use uh, Google Notes with your assistant, um, it should pop up when you open the Notes app. Or um, yeah, I'm sure in the Google Assistant settings, you could set it up that way. Uh, da, 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 what what is that on here? Oh, uh, one thing I also noticed is Google Sheets is now using Excel files without having to convert to Google Sheets. Huh. So it um gives the like it pretty much the full functionality. I haven't found anything that I wasn't able to do, but um before there was like a compatibility viewing version where you could see the Google Excel sheet, but if you really wanted to do anything, you had to convert it to a Google sheet. Well, now that's no longer the case. You can just upload an Excel file to your drive and then, or sheets, and then you could open it up and just start using it as if it was just a regular Google sheet document. All right. Very useful. Um, yeah, that's very nice change. That way you don't have double copies of everything that you're making, one Excel one and then one uh, sheet one. Uh, also, what was announced a couple weeks ago was the new Xbox. Did we mention that before? Yes, we did. The Scarlet, okay. right? Yeah, the Scarlet is now the Xbox Series X. Oh, it was called Project Scarlet, and now they've released. That's right. Yeah, they, ta they released the new Xbox that's coming out next holiday which is the Xbox Series X. Because there weren't enough Xs. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of uh, confusion over that. Um, I really didn't find it that confusing. It was just the new model is called the Series X because for whatever reasons, they just don't believe in numbers like PlayStation. And uh, so, but the, the, the brand clarified that this new Xbox is just going to be called Xbox. And then the Series X is just the model for that Xbox, which is how I always looked at it anyways. Like you right? had the original Xbox, you had the Xbox, the Series was 360, then you had the Xbox Series 1, Xbox Series X, or 1X. That's how I looked at it anyways. Yeah. But uh, apparently it needed clarification from them because people were like, now it's Xbox Series X as opposed to Xbox One X and all right yeah whatever <laughs> it is their what it is. naming strategy hopefully with that clarification they're gonna make it so that the future xbox iterations are not as um well um confusing of the the word because this was funny i did want to read uh some uh, some comment talking about how they 
uh, when you're a mom or dad at Meyer or not Meyer. Wow. <laughs> I mean, you can buy them at Meyer, but whatever department store. at Best Buy yeah, usually sure. is the one that you get your electronics and you're not if you're somebody that's just like complete newbie to computers and electronics and you go up to a, a salesperson who's like, I need the new Xbox and is like, which Xbox? Xbox One, Xbox One X, Xbox Series X. Yes, the one with the X. Like, it's so con- it, it really is i mean that could be a jeopardy question put these different xboxes <laughs> in order i'd have no idea yep but um hopefully it's good it look uh, it seems good from what i understand it's going to be a powerhouse uh who knows if it focuses on frame rate or graphics um if it focuses on hitting a 60 frames per second i'd be happy with it especially with um, the new way that they're integrating with Windows where you can even get a lot of games if you buy it on Windows or Xbox you can play it on either so buy once for both um, platforms. platforms that is nice um, so the, the that that alone gives it a leg up uh, people have been talking about what the pricing is some people have speculated that it's even as high as 600 bucks and uh, that that seems out of the question like for a game console to for people to do get a game console they might that might be too much for them to go for i know the playstation 3 when it tried that strategy it also did not work so well a but you also have on the other hand they're trying to sell this xbox unlimited pass where you can get the console and upgrades and things like that by um by with subscription so essentially you get like the game pass where you pay a hundred bucks a month or something like that i don't know what the pricing is but it also comes with the console and then you can switch out the console at will Mm -hmm. and so that's probably if it is that high that's probably the way they're going to try to sell it is through like a subscription based thing um otherwise yeah i could just see it not being uh, probably more four hundred dollars Seems reasonable. Yeah. Is that all on the Xbox Series X? Um, I believe so. That's about all we know yep. about it. PlayStation hasn't announced their new uh, PlayStation Five yet, so we don't have any information uh, describing the differences between the two. Xbox hasn't released any um, anything really about this. Yeah, anything really, anything just really, just the name. VR. Yeah, they talked about VR not being a focus for this. And uh, it looks like a cube. So I want to know about Minecraft. Minecraft. I see that's on your list. Yeah. Uh, so this was another thing uh, Microsoft did was they hosted a competition for uh, developers to build an AI to play Minecraft and find diamonds. And uh, it is uh, for you know, like the article said, it was it's pretty easy for a player that knows minecraft to find diamonds like they understand the concept they're able to find it pretty quickly give them about 20 minutes and anybody can find a diamond in minecraft basically you mean because it's just like below at or below 12 right yeah yeah yeah. they would dig down and they know you know what you need to get you need to destroy a tree get the mine mining equipment get it all ready going um they had what is it there was a stipulation like the the uh it only had like three days to train or something the ai um and so all the ai were on this like level of like they only had three days to train three and... days of minecraft time or three days real world time real world time like so the way ai works is uh or, or machine learning works is they they have a goal and they try to get to that goal and if they fail then they try again and then they try to figure out whether that second time was better or worse than the last time and then they will continue to do that similar process as up until it gets them to their goal right so they have to just repeat over and over and over the same thing well three days of repetition um is only like i don't know several thousand generations of the ai learning so it doesn't actually it's not a lot of time for it to learn, basically. And uh, none of the AI were able to actually find diamonds. Hmm. But 
it is interesting to see how far the the AI is coming to being able to just really think about just being plopped into a world and figuring out what to do to get to its goal. Do you have any information about how far or close or any funny and and so it's about i don't I, like they didn't oh. actually uh i i wonder if I, there's a video about it because they had like a whole competition it would be fun to see the ai at work but the the article that i read didn't have any uh huh. any descriptions um but it like it was more just focused on the ai and like what the competition was it was cool though like the thought is cool um dota right now the the elon musk has an ai built for dota which is um the dota ai team i didn't know that elon built that built yeah it was um and that that up until recently was dominating all the pro players i think now uh, in like some recent game that the pro players were actually finally able to defeat the AI. But there was this new patch kind of a thing. AI might not have been used to it yet. There, the, there's a lot of uh, things in there. But it, it was still pretty crazy, especially when it first came out. It destroyed all the pro players that it went up against. There were, it started off with 1v1 matches because that's all I could handle. And now it has a whole team of five, and they're five independent AIs, so that they're not like cheating off of one another. But they were destroying pro teams. It's it's crazy. It's cool, but yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, so that was the Minecraft thing. The Minecraft. Um, the other two, we'll go over some other at some other point. That was okay. really uh, it for this week. Did you have anything on that's tech stuff that you deal with on a daily? Not really. Not really? No. <laughs> Just that, you know, I still sometimes have big problems with technology, but I swear when I try to show you, like that day that my thing was in my phone. <laughs> I've been having problems lately with my... Um, phone not seeming to actually stop using mobile data when it i have it turned off for mobile data and it shows that the mobile data is turned off i'm still able to browse the internet which makes no sense like and i mean when i'm when we're in the car driving when i should not have no wi-fi yeah, yeah. and i think i'm like okay i loaded this one mm -hmm. article before we left to read and then i'll read that article and i'll forget and I'll go and start like clicking other things. And then after a few minutes, I'm like, wait a minute. And I'll double check and my internet still says it's turned off. So I don't know. I think technology and I just don't really get along. Um, I can confirm that uh, the Twitter, uh, when she, she was browsing Twitter, even though there was no Wi-Fi, no phone yeah, connection. It, it, it loaded page. Yeah, <laughs> so pages like one time that you saw. As yeah. for the other er, other is maybe it's Twitter that's somehow getting through the system or it's, maybe it's not only Twitter. No. Yeah, it, uh, it's I just can confirm that it is a very weird thing. I've uh have you tried airplane mode and seeing if it's still happening? No, I haven't tried airplane mode, but I, did I tell you about the um the one day I had the this little icon that's right next to my battery, the little triangle with the X. What does that mean? That's your mobile signal. Okay, the mobile um the mobile thing was it was flickering back and forth really fast. I think it was between that and saying LTE, but it was flickering several times within a single second, and it just kept doing it. And I had no idea, so I just turned my phone off mm. because yeah. Uh, so we're know. not sure there is definitely something going on with her phone when it comes to the mobile data still going through um we we've gotten extra charges too because of it so we are currently investigating that one and seeing what's going on yeah but otherwise i mean same old same old i can't get the printer at work to work <laughs> but that's not your problem <laughs> i've got to find time to yeah get my my tech people over there to help 
Anyways, that's it for this week. Thank you all for watching, and we will see you probably not next week. It's Christmas next. It's Christmas next week. We are going to be on vacation, and Ooh, yeah. the week after that, maybe. Um, but we'll there things. hope to see you soon. Have a great one, mm -hmm. and happy holidays. Be happy, healthy, and well. <laughs>